there are mainly three types of production systems number one continuous or mass production number two job or unit production and number three intermittent or batch production let's start by looking at continuous or mass production it is used when we need to produce standardized products with a standard set of process and operation sequence in anticipation of demand. This ensures continuous production of output. It is also termed as mass flow production or assembly line production. This system results in less work in process inventory and high product quality but involves high capital investment in machinery and equipment. This ensures very high rate of production as we need not to intervene once the production has begun. The system is appropriate in plants where a large volume of small variety of output is produced. For example oil refineries, cement manufacturing and sugar factory etc. So, what are the characteristics of continuous or mass production? As same product is manufactured for sufficiently long time, machines can be laid down in order of processing sequence. Standard methods and machines are used during part manufacture. Most of the equipments are semi-automatic or automatic in nature. Material handling is also automatic, such as conveyors. Semi-skilled workers are normally employed as most of the facilities are automatic. As product flows along a predefined line, planning and control of the system is much easier. Cost of production per unit is very low owing to the high rate of production. In process inventories are low as production scheduling is simple and can be implemented with ease. Job or unit production. It involves production as per customer's specifications. This ensures the simultaneous production of large number of batches, orders. Each batch or order comprises of a small lot of identical products and is different from other batches. It requires comparatively smaller investment in machines and equipment. It is flexible and can be adapted to changes in product design and order size without much inconvenience. This system is most suitable where heterogeneous products are produced against specific orders. In this system products are made to satisfy a specific order. However that order may be produced only once or at irregular time intervals as and when new order arrives or at regular time intervals to satisfy a continuous demand. So. What are the characteristics of job or unit production? Machines and methods employed should be general purpose as product changes are quite frequent. Manpower should be skilled enough to deal with changing work conditions. Schedules are actually non-existent in this system as no definite data is available on the product. In process inventory will usually be high as accurate plans and schedules do not exist. Product cost is normally high because of high material and labor costs. Grouping of machines is done on functional basis, that is as lathe section, milling section etc. This system is very flexible as management has to manufacture varying product types. Material handling systems are also flexible to meet changing product requirements. Intermittent or batch production. This is concerned with the production of different types of products in small quantities usually termed as batches. A batch contains the similar products but in small quantity. This is used to meet a specific order or to meet a continuous demand. Batch can be manufactured either only once or repeatedly at irregular time intervals as and when demand arise or repeatedly at regular time intervals to satisfy a continuous demand. Under this system the goods may be produced partly for inventory and partly for customers' orders. For example, components are made for inventory but they are combined differently for different customers. For example automobile plants, printing presses, electrical goods plant are examples of this type of manufacturing. So, what are the characteristics of intermittent or batch production? As final product is somewhat standard and manufactured in batches, economy of scale can be availed to some extent. Machines are grouped on functional basis similar to the job shop manufacturing. Semi-automatic, special purpose automatic machines are generally used to take advantage of the similarity among the products. Labor should be skilled enough to work upon different product batches. In process inventory is usually high owing to the type of layout and material handling policies adopted. Semi-automatic material handling systems are most appropriate in conjunction with the semi-automatic machines. 
In addition to these three main types of production systems, a large number of manufacturing plants include both intermittent and continuous processes and are classified as composite or combination operations. Such a plant may have sub-assembly departments making parts in a continuous operation, while the final assembly department works on an intermittent basis, as we can see in the furniture and custom packaging industries.